hello everyone you are welcome to my youtube channel i am Rajan ibrahim and in this video i will be making a review on proto structure whether it over designs a beam or not and how am i going to do that we are going to design the beams in this story and then we are going to check the area of steel provided then we are going to compare it to bs 866 then we will see if it is picking the right bar or if it is picking a bar that is even more higher than what is required so let's see how to do that this building has been modeled it's just a simple structure for a simple tutorial now what we are going to do is we are going to run the analysis and then we can proceed with the design then i can go to analysis now click on building analysis let's take some loading combination um, the load cases and the load combinations have been loaded already if not you can just click on loading generator and then you can load as many as you want and then you can just click on ok so now I'll just click on um, OK. Uh, yes. Now I will edit my material. I'll be more specific about beam. So I'll just go to um, concrete beam. Uh, grade 14 is not bad. Then rebar diameter. I uh, will strictly use um, Y16. I will only use Y16. And then click on OK. Click on OK. And now I can go to analysis. Just click on building analysis. And then I can run my beam reinforcement. Let's reselect and then I'll click on analysis. So it's going to do the analysis and then the design at the same time. The analysis has been completed. Now it is running the design. Okay, this is um, successful. Let's click on close. From here, I can move forward to post analysis. Then I will click on beam reinforcement design. So um, fortunately, all the beam, the past, and then I'm just going to click on just one. So you can just um, double click on it or you click on interactive design. Now I am in the interactive design tab. Then you can see all of the anger bar you can see for this span i have 2y16 for this support i have 3y16 for this span i'm talking about the anger bar i have 2y16 for the support i have 3y16 and the anger bar for the last span i have 2y16 then the the bottom i only have um 2y16 all round now let's see if what we have um is over design or not over design first of all the section i use for for the beam is a rectangular section if you look here you will see it is a 230 by 450 beam and when you have a rectangular section of beam or column the minimum requirement you can have is four numbers the minimum you can have is four numbers minimum so that tells me that the minimum i can have at the top is 2y16 and the minimum i can have at the bottom is 2y16 but that is because the diameter of bar i've chosen is y16 if the diameter i've chosen is y12 all round then i should be expecting 2y12 at the top 2y12 at the bottom all right um before we move forward let me um introduce this section to you you see um this diagram you are seeing here that is your beam your beam and coulomb connection then all the figures you are seeing inside they represent the required area of steel which you normally call area of steel required so you can see it here required area of steel so at the top here where you have the support you have 241.24 millimeter squared that is the area of steel required in this support okay that is the augie moment you have there and then here you have 12.38 here you have 484.85 and then that is what you have till the end however this is the area of steel required it is not the area of steel provided then how can you know the area of steel provided the area of steel provided will not be provided on this chart but what you can see is the extra area of steel that is telling you that after it has provided a particular area of steel there is a particular value of area of steel that is extra so for you to know the area of steel provided what you will do is you will find the sum of the required area of steel and the extra area of steel 
so for this part where we have the support if i want to know the area of steel that should be provided what i'm going to do is i will add this 241.24 i will add it to 160.88 and that will give me the area of steel provided so let me find out what is the area of steel provided you can just check um your calculator let me take this to this side so what i have here is 241.24 so i have 241.24 then i will add that to this which is the extra area of steel um and that will be um 160.88 is equal to and that will give me 402.12 that tells me that the area of steel provided is 402.12 now let me check my bs 866s to know if that is an excess or if it is not an excess but before we do that you should keep in mind that for a beam which is a rectangular beam the minimum you can provide at the top should be two numbers okay should be two numbers and that is y16 in this case now this is um bs 8666 and they have the um sectional area of group and then this is for the uh, number of bars now let me see this is y6 y8 y10 y12 and y16 now for y16 for two numbers what i have is 402 402 so that is exactly what we got for this particular one so you can see so for area of steel which is 402 what you should provide is two numbers so when you check this 16 mm and our area is what 402 so when you check the corresponding number what do you have you have two numbers so according to this table you should provide two numbers of y16 then how many did proto structure provide it's also provided two y16 you can see it's provided two y16 so that is accurate it is not an exaggeration because the minimum it can provide is two numbers and that's provided that just two numbers okay now let's see the support that we're having 3y16 let's check if this is an exaggeration or it is not now we are going to do some addition like we did earlier okay so what do i have here? i have 484.85 that's 484.85 in addition to 118 that's 118.34 so the area of steel provided is 603.19 603.19 so what i'm just going to confirm is instead of using my as provided as 603 let me just confirm my area of steel required maybe it is in between uh you know 2y16 my area of steel required is 484.85 484.85 what i have as my area of steel required is 484 that's approximately 485 okay so let's check what i have for two numbers what i have here is 402 obviously 402 is less than 485 that tells me that i cannot provide 402 when i have 485 that means i cannot provide 2y16 so the next one has to be the 3y16 and that is 603 so that is exactly what you are going to do even if you are designing manually so this tells you that proto structure does not over design a beam but what about slab what about column then we can do something on that and let's confirm if it is actually over designing those structural member but for beam it is clear that it doesn't over design a beam so if you enjoyed this video and you think it is useful for you kindly give it a like and if you are not a subscriber yet kindly give my channel a subscription thanks for watching